Hello and welcome to another exclusive review with me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 6 million minutes viewed. Today we feature the Beaches Madhouse at MGM Grand Las Vegas. So then, the Beaches Madhouse at MGM Grand is one of the most talked about new clubs and entertainment attractions in Las Vegas. It's quickly becoming the event to be seen at, with Miley Cyrus, David Beckham, George Clooney and Kevin Spacey all turning up in recent weeks. So what is Beaches Madhouse? Well, it's an outrageous interactive, loud and at times shocking nightclub. It's a concept with live interactive entertainment. Despite being advertised on external websites as a 10.30pm show, it is not. It's a show within a nightclub, and it doesn't start at 10.30. The club gets going around 11, 11.30, so don't expect to be there at 10. You won't get in probably until 11. You certainly couldn't on the night I attended. This is the antithesis of a 90-minute polished and professional and crafted Cirque du Soleil show. Imagine the best show you've seen in Las Vegas. It's the opposite. Beach's Madhouse has been all over the country in the last decade, but originally with Jeff Beach's comedy shows at the Triad Cabaret Theatre in New York City. The first show to use the Madhouse name was at Madison Square Garden's Paramount Theatre on June 14, 2002. Beach used the term Madhouse to describe the feeling one gets when immersed in this strange and exciting environment. So what's the entertainment? Well, it's crazy. There's sexual teddy bears, dancing big birds, several big birds in the club the night I attended, diminutive people dangling from the ceiling, offering drinks, and even boxing mini Kanye Wests. I have to admit, Beach's Madhouse was a lot of fun, but you have to go with an open mind and preferably in a group. It's a party place where your experience will unquestionably be enhanced by your friends and their reaction to the shenanigans. A note of warning though, for some people laughing or being entertained by someone just because they're of restricted height might be offensive and at best ludicrous. One thing for sure, this concept wouldn't work in Britain or survive. The press would eat it alive. Beach's Madhouse laughs in the face of political correctness. The easily offended or prudish should definitely stay away from Beach's Madhouse and go for dinner at Joel Robichon and see David Copperfield. So there you go, my review of MGM Grand's Beach's Madhouse 2014. You've been listening to Alex Belfield here at CelebrityRadio.biz, live in Las Vegas, featuring all the best attractions. You can see our reviews and listen to our interviews at www.celebrityradio.biz.